What's up? I'm finna start. Win. And. College. 25. And I'm about to be playing with with the ducks. Wait, wait. What's up? It's your boy. Let's go! He is so slow. Georgia, Stop playing with him! Let's go! Well, I'm good! He really shows you his skills on that last run. I feel like today, if you're a running back at Oregon, you are expected to be explosive. You're not going to be a guy that goes in between the tackles and gains three yards, and that's okay. I feel like now, today, because of all the great running backs they've had here recently, if you get into the second level, you're expected to go to the house. This guy has that kind of skill. Quarterback run game gives you numbers, but the Ducks always seem to have a guy who can really hurt you with his leg. And they've always been smart to use those numbers to their advantage. Oregon football, when I think about them, I think about running quarterbacks. I think about them being the first ones to be willing to run the quarterback consistently. I would do it too. It gives you that advantage. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just this. Defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Okay. Now on third, I got something for Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Fires to the right. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with. They know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. 
He's got him, and they convert. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. He unleashed a bullet on that pass and converted the fourth down. Gotta love it. Some people get conservative. Some people don't want to mess up. Fourth down, you could tell. He wanted that window, and he threw it through it as hard as he could. Throws a strike to the wide receiver. Gets the big fourth down conversion. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run up the middle, try different things to see what you do right. The Ducks have it in scoring position on first and goal. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. Good, solid tackle. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! Just under 60,000 in this place, but sometimes it sounds like 600,000. An engineering marvel to hold in all this noise. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They love their team. They support the Ducks, and they build traditions, and so many teams they should be proud of. Getting them involved early is a great sign for this football team. Into the end zone for the two, and they push that lead out to eight. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. On first down, here comes this offense. The give. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And a good pickup to move the chains and the clock will expire and that's how they'll be set up to start the second quarter. Break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Might as well give it to him again. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a, a manageable situation. And the dogs will hustle to the line. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Looking for a man. It's back. They'll run the screen. Crosses the 30, he's got to wait. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. The Bulldogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. The offense down to the 25 now, first and 10. He wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. 
He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Defense just didn't have an answer there on the slant throw. Once the completion was made, they just couldn't get to the ball carrier and get him down on the ground. Got it set up on the outside. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. This time, he'll be stopped short of the goal line. So after scoring the touchdown, he tried to tack on the two-point conversion, but was denied. Coming out with it, it's Whittington. Makes a move. He's got an alley. Wide open, and it's a foot race. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive work. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. They get him down after he makes the catch. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, the defense was ready coming into this one for this running back being a factor in the pass game. That time, they were draped all over. Oh, they tricked him. It's a fake. He wants to throw it. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. I know they wanted to be aggressive, throw caution to the wind. They might have been better off playing it safe there. Throwing right. It's caught downfield. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. That's what players call a seven round, and that receiver ran it to perfection. Pre-snap motion, quarterback trying to get a read. Feeling some heat. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Fires to the right. It's complete. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Ball bouncing all over the place and corralled around the 30. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The offense sent for a first down play. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Quickly complete. They make a stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. This will likely be the last play of the half. He's going to pass on second down. Spits it out to the back. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. Ducks will boot it away to start the second half. Hauls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the third. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. 
They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, I think defensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, Then You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answers are. They'll throw it on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the court. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack. Even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turn. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Coming after him. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's got it. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Let's see what they've got on second down. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus. The ball's free. Oh, looks like the offense was able to recover it. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job of ball security. And the Ducks are moving quickly down the field. Give to the running back. And they're able to get him down, but not before he gets to the two. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. On the run, it's Gabriel. Oh, he makes a catch. Touchdown, Ducks! And that one will put him up here in the second half. Man, find your weapons. Nice job by the quarterback. Find the running back out of the backfield. He catches it and does the rest. Walks into the end zone for the touchdown. conversion attempt is coming. Into the end zone he goes for the two-point conversion and the lead is four. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. When you're playing from behind, you can't afford to give it up the way they did the last drive, David. 
No doubt, you cannot give the football away. Again, turnovers the biggest stats in winning and losing games. You're behind, Palmer. Take care of the ball, but we got to go get a score here. Yeah, and they just got to do a better job executing. I like the game plan so far for them, but they just need to go out and do a better job connecting the dots. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Trying play action. Quickly to the tight end. Fighting off the defender. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Because it freezes those linebackers, it freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big points. He was able to squirt three and pick up just a few on that one. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn up field for the first. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They got to get more creative, but whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Still plenty of time for this offense, but this probably their final drive under two minutes to play. They'll try the run. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. And I think this offense ran the football knowing it's in fourth down territory. It, it's fourth and short. It's go time. Almost near midfield. To me, this is green light. I got to stay aggressive. I'm losing, but the situation favors me in fourth and short. They make the tackle, but he's got enough to give Georgia a first down. From that spot on the field, this is the area that we expert commentators call no man's land. So the call makes sense. You have to go for it. Uh, you're in a situation where you're in field goal range for maybe elite, elite kickers. But, dude, go for it. You're not going to have anything to lose. Field position will still be okay. you got to go for it in these situations. Second down coming up. Dropping back. It's back. Lines is back in the middle. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Yeah, we don't have any plays left. You know, the clock running down, we're going to make something happen. These kind of plays are just tripling. They, they will absolutely ruin what chance you have to push the ball down the field later on and save timeouts. And so we've got to get that engine going here. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And you just wonder if this defense now is starting to feel it a little bit. They're a bit on their heels after that fourth down play to keep this drive going. Someone's going to have to step up here and stop the bleeding. They're only up by one possession. The freshman quarterback, very fortunate for that one to fall incomplete. Well, this defense has had the QB's number all game long. One of the reasons why is because this cornerback, when he's on an island, he's winning the 50-50 balls, and he's not letting anything get thrown over his head downfield. Great job in coverage, disguising what he's doing. Touchdown, Georgia! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Georgia. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. From the gun, looking for a man. 
He gets it into the end zone for the two, and they extend the lead to four. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Oh, look at Mr. Hands taking the squibber inside the third. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. And they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt, Reese. And this quarterback now, he's going to have to show off his poise, David. They practice these late-game situations, but how's this guy going to respond? And I got a little bit of time to work with here, so I watch the defense, and if they're going to drop back and play real conservative like they tend to do late in the game, let's get a few shots over the middle first before we have to take that deep shot. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He'll take another shot here. Fires it into a crowd, and it's picked off. And he's going to go down as time has run out. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Yeah, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure this doesn't happen next week. That's going to do